Well, if you want to start or get into this, I mean, I, I don't know if it's a good advice, but, but um, I, I think you have, to, you have to look for your sound. Uh, well, yes, I can uh, show you my uh, current life setup. It's, um, it's not much, actually. It's uh, because I always try to keep it as uh, effective as possible. I think that's very important because I'm uh, traveling hand luggage. And, uh, and also, I think it's not about the amount of knobs. It's more about what they do. And um, so it all started uh, back in the days with something like this, like 16 uh, knobs. And they do um, different things like low cut or main volume or these, for example, they like all the bass sounds would go up a little, all the mids would go up or down a little, all the highs um, just to balance things out. Uh, these are my um, hi-hat decays for, for percussion decay. Um, this is something where I can um, separate only one sound will be left for, for a dramatic effect. And uh, then more effects, 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 e uh, echoes, uh, delays, um, rooms. That's the computer. And, um, and uh, so these two, they are new. Um, I built them um, during the pandemic as uh, my home project, uh, like with a 3D printer. And um, the idea was to, to get rid of uh, the computer in a way, or, or to to be able to play but without looking at the screen all the time and without having to use a mouse because I was doing that for so many years and um, um, this needed to end. And uh, so this is working really well. They are connected to the computer and they here on the touch screen, I, I see all the clips that are here as well. And um, they are a little bit clever, so they know um, which one to play next. And so I don't have to look at the screen all the time. I just play and here's volumes, here's effects for every channel, more effects, more effects here. I can uh, turn the page, for example. Um, I don't know if you can see the screen, but so there's all kinds of stuff here, more levels. Uh, I could, uh, here, this is, I can choose the tracks all with S, all with L, all with N, because it's quite a lot of them. And um, that's my uh, drum machine. And they are all uh, programmed with uh, Max. It looks like this. So this thing here um, turns this MIDI controller into a drum machine. And then I have a keyboard and a couple of synths. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, it takes around uh, 10 to 15 minutes to set up. Like, I think the longest time is to load the project because it's so big. Um, yeah, plugging in, yeah, a couple of minutes, not too long. Well, I've, uh, well, compared to a basic DJ setup, I think it's a very different thing. It's also a very different way of playing. Um, I mean, everything I play is my own stuff, so, and I, I want to be creative with it. I want to play around. I want to remix it. So I think my perspective on playing is very different than a, than a DJ perspective is. Um, well, my setup has changed quite a lot since I started. Um, uh, I think when I, I began, I had, a, I had a beta version of Ableton uh, before it really came out. And the only thing I had was a mouse. And uh, yeah, something that was similar to this one, like 16 knobs and I had no clue what I was doing and um, and uh, so a little bit later I added I think I added um, an analog compressor for the sound because I, I wasn't super happy with the sound in the beginning uh, so so I had this analog thing to kind of heal the sound this is gone now um, uh, now I have this sound card and uh, I try out different sound cards all the time um, which sounds best which is small which are light and uh, which one is sounding good. And um, then I added, uh, I think I added a drum machine as, as a next step. And then these two were the last things I added. Well, when I play, I don't feel it's a challenge at all. It's, uh, the playing is, is uh, the most joyful part. But, but the challenge is, I mean, a DJ has to look for all kinds of new music all the time. 
and I have to take a lot of care that things work. Because when I play, I don't want hassle. Uh, and this actually is a lot of work to, to get the system running and, and to, to feel safe. Well, I was a DJ um, for many years, and I loved it. Uh, I was working in a record shop, and, uh, uh, but when I started playing live, I felt like this is, this is really the thing for me. And so for a while, in, in my early days, I did both. First I DJed, and then I, I played live. And, uh, but then after a while, I realized if, if you really want to do it seriously, either if you DJ or play live, I think it both need a lot of time and, uh, and focus. And so I decided to yeah, fade the DJ out and, uh, and be a live act. I like to use uh, a lot of dramatic effects, like to build drama, that's how I call it. Um, and I usually have most of my really important effects on the master channel, because that's where they have the most impact. And I think that's, that's important when you play live, because you need that really big energy um, to happen, because it's when you have only like tiny little things, it might not be enough uh, for a show, because there needs to be also a connection between your physical performance and, and what people can hear. So, so they need to understand that, that we are actually doing something. Well, if you want to start or get into this, I mean, I, I don't know if it's a good advice, but, but um, I, I think you have, to, you have to look for your sound. And, and, and in a way, it's all, it also means you have to you find out who you are. And I, th I think that's maybe the, that's how I see it. Maybe that's this process of finding yourself. You take that on stage. We all struggle in a way, whatever we do, doesn't matter. But if people, if an audience sees you doing that in front of them, I think this is something that, that people appreciate in a way because they can hear it and they, maybe there's something they can share. And so if you're honest and uh, brave, I think that's, that would be my advice. Yeah, be honest and be brave and, and just yeah, tr try to find out who you are in a way. Uh, it's going to be a new one I'm working on. Uh, it's called uh, Smash a Mirror. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing it.